FPGA drone here. This is uh, the Sky Viper Pro. This is the GPS uh, drone from Sky Viper, the brushless one. They do have a brushed one out now that's white. But we, we were out with this today without the app. I had a really good flight. I came back in and my uh, flight video was all skippy. I was using this one, which is a 32 gig SanDisk um, Ultra. The 16 gig uh, Ultra Plus is what you should be using in this. Um, and I'll show you why. So really quickly, we are going to go ahead and stick uh, the 32 in just ultra and i will integrate uh what this got the sd card goes in upside down so the metal pieces on the sd card are facing upwards instead of downwards and then uh, we're just going to do a mock run here we're going to plug that in we're going to plug this in this will make some noise Bam, we are connected. Now what we are going to do, we are going to take the drone in my hand. We are going to hold it like that. We are also going to take the controller here. And that noise means you're recording. You can go left to right. Pitch downwards, up, downwards, up, left to right, left to right. And this is the first, number one, Number one, number one SD card. The reason I'm doing that is so it'll show up on video so you know exactly what SD card this is. This is the number one 32 gig SD card. And we're going to stop recording and go up and down a little bit more, up and down, left to right, and stop recording. So we'll show you what that looks like. Alright guys, so you saw that, now what we're going to do, this is the one we just had in, the 32 Ultra, we're going to stick in the, we're going to, or the 32, yeah, Ultra, and then we're going to stick in the 16 Ultra Plus in it, and show you what that looks like. I really wish I would have known this when I was out flying, because I, I did get some pretty good video, but it's all jumpy that I really am not going to produce it, and again, the metal pieces on the back of this you want sticking up, that's how this goes in, and it is spring loaded, press it in, we are going to simulate starting here, obviously we're not going to start, we're not going to fly in the drone room, uh, we're going to connect that, and then we are going to turn this on. Do do do. That means it's good to go. And then same thing here. We're just going to take this. We're going to hold this underneath here. We're going to take our controller. We're going to press this upper top button that has the video icon on it. And pan, pan, up, down, up, down, and tilt, tilt. Go a little bit faster, a little bit faster, up, down. And this is the second, the second SD card, which is one, and hypothetically we'll go like that for the six. One, six gigabyte. And we'll go fast, up, down, forward, backwards, pitch up, and then we'll show you what that looks like. We'll stop recording. There you go guys, SD card does matter. Uh, bigger SD card does not always mean better. Um, some drones, like my Phantom, um, we're charging the Phantom's battery over here. Uh, the Phantom 
only takes that 16 that I have in this. It won't even take the 32. It'll say SD card error. So uh, be aware of that. Have fun. Fly safe. And uh, so you guys know, 2900 could be flown without the app, and you can kind of manually fly it. Guys, I'm J Drone. If you haven't subscribed, please do. And again, this was the V2900 Pro from Sky Viper GPS Drone. All right, guys, take care.